Okay, this is a new meal we just picked up yesterday, and the fellow that had had her before, his big complaint with her was bridling. He had a lot of trouble getting her mouth open and also going over her ears. So I'm just gonna show you how I go about getting one prepared to bridle, to put the head stall on. One of the very first things I need to do is be able to tip them here to the left. You see, tipping her to the left, she's got some brace in here. You see, she's a little bit worried. You see those little flinches she had about my hands here. So I'll bring her back. See, I bring my right hand under her jaw and over here on the side of her nose. And when she's here, I don't hold her here. I'll, I'll let my hand off. I just let her find some comfort here. See, my hand's off and she's fine to hang out here. I'm gonna catch the nose with the head stall. See, now she just raised her head and she went further to the other side. Again, I just want to help her find comfort here. So as soon as she's right here where I want her to be, I leave her alone. And there's all these moments of comfort that the mule needs to find. There's a moment she found. She's comfortable here. And I'm going to come over here on the right side of the mule's mouth. And I just touch my hand against the mouth. See how she says she's going to come over here. I'll just go with her and I'll put a little pressure on that. When she comes back over here, pressure comes off and my hand is just is just there. My middle finger here is going to go in the mouth. And all I'm going to do is just have it there. And I want to kind of get to where I can tickle the side of the tongue. My finger just in there, tickling the gum and the tongue. There, we found our way in there. This time I'm going to go ahead and... She's apparently a little bothered with the ears. So fire ear first, ears always forward. I hold the base of the ear. I, see how I hold the head stall clear out? Catch that ear. I hold the head stall clear out, catch that ear. There's very little contact with the ear that needs to be made. Don't crinkle the ear, don't bend the ear. This time I'll let her just pack it for a second and I'll hang it fairly loose so that she can get her tongue all over there. And see the yawning? The yawning is them trying to self-regulate. They're trying to get rid of that pressure on their own. And I'll repeat that each time I work with her until I have enough quality repetitions that this gets real smooth and she gets comfortable. Anyways, there's a little tip for you on one that's really tight-lipped tight to work on bidding.